What's going on guys, my name is Jake here and in this video I'm going to be showing you my Mac Feed the Beast patch to make Feed the Beast work on a Mac for some reason it doesn't a standard but I have created something which fixes the problem or at least for me and some other people on the forums um, now I kind of need to say three things before I start A, sorry for the background noise um, you just had dinner so someone will be washing up and the hot water tanks in my room I can't help it um, another thing is that in this um, all you need to download is my file and that means that it does include the feed the beast dot jar I do not own that bit the dot jar bit I'm only doing it to keep um, I'm only doing it to um, make the process easy if for some reason feed the beast people don't want me to use it I will alter it remove it and alter the instructions to put the jar in from their website um, and the code actually used in this program, I'd say 85-90% of it was actually made by Eddie Frypan on the Minecraft forums, not the FTB forums. This is for the next bit of the video. Um, and other than that, let's get into it. Uh, in the description down below, you're going to find a link to either the FTB forum or the Minecraft forum. And they're more or less exactly the same thing. Um, so, i am read through. Um, all very, very easy. There's actually some written instructions around here. But um, I'm someone who can always do things a lot easier in video form. Um, so you're going to hit the, the uh, newest version, which will be at the top of the list. Version 1.1 at the moment. It will soon be up updated to 1.2. But I haven't quite got there yet. I'm just going to download it. At Mediafire, there's no um, AdFly or AdLi or whatever it's called that um, makes you pay money what a weird children um, because the idea is I'm not going to make any money on this so hopefully they'll let me keep the jar in so we're going to download it that's an ad that just flared off somewhere okay so as I say nothing else is required so from now we can uh, go to finder and we can so we've got a couple of finders um, let me go just desktop on that one and then on this one we'll go Downloads. Uh, and the file I'm going to be looking for is Feed the Beast Mac Patch version and whatever version you have. So let us find it. So there's the patch folder. Now I have two of them because I've downloaded it before. This is the second time trying to do this video. Uh, uh, and what you're going to have to do is just drag it to. Uh, no, first of all, you're going to unzip it. Gonna expand using the archive I arch utility. Just uh, and now from here you drag it to the desktop. This will vary slightly from the instruction on the website. Just slight, just things slightly in the wrong order because I'm doing it off. If I've got an iPad for notes to make sure I don't miss anything, but I think I've done it wrong on the iPad. So so we've dragged the file from our downloads to the desktop, and we're gonna find it. Folder feed the beast version 1.1. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take that down to just see the beast. And click off. So, so that's it rename. We're going to read through this read me first document. You can do that yourself. I'm not going to do that because I know what it is. Uh, I'm going to move that to the trash. Just out of the way. And then I'm going to launch this application. Should be doing something. Here we are. Here's Feed the Beast loading up. And, and as you can see, if you installed it normally, you'd see that these go very, very slow. But these should be going quite quick. I mean, you can see you added loads of mod packs in a short amount of time. There's this kind of bit of code I had to use. We've got loading the console. Um, I'll say I'm going to la launch Minecraft Feed the Beast because that's what I want to do. Hopefully my login details will be correct. Downloading mod pack. I will do this for a while and then it'll uh, stop the game. Okay, so the game finally loaded. Um, I just had to wait for everything to download and it took a while for it to start the first time because it had to do the Minecraft board environment and blah 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 blah. But as you can see, it now works. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to quit the game. Okay, so after quitting the game, you can move this feed piece to patch file to any way you want. So applications for example, if you want to access it via your um, 
what is it, launch pad, I think it's called, thing. So I put it in there, and then I go in there, and then eventually there we go. Minecraft Free the Beach launch patch, so you can launch it from there. Another thing you can do is you can drag it to the uh, thing at the bottom, I've forgotten what it's called, uh, <laughs> whatever this is, and you can uh, have it stay on here forever because I have Minecraft Be the Beast patch, multi MC, and then Ticket Wiki. Uh, not uh, Ticket Launcher. Uh, and that's it really. It, your Feed the Beast doesn't need to stay on the desktop because the code in the patch file puts it automatically to your desktop, or that's where it searches for the file. Um, I am having a play with it to try and see if I could out figure it out. Like, you drag the folder where it will be onto it, and it will go, oh, that's where it's going to be. And do it from there, but that's a bit more work. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you're new here, subscribe and comment down below if you have any troubles at all with this patch. Thanks for watching, guys, and cheerio.